Good evening, people. Good evening, teacher. Okay, we're going to wait for the other students. Okay, see you in a moment, guys.
Okay, people, welcome back. Welcome. Let's get started this evening. Good evening. Good evening, Miss. Good evening, teacher. Hello. Good evening, teacher. Okay, first of all, let me introduce myself, okay? My name is Saul Montoya. I've been an English teacher for more than 25 years. I live in Lourdes. Hey, I have a tocaya here. Hello, Maria Delmi. You are Montoya too. Uh, nice to meet you. Nice meeting you. Okay. Um, I live in Lourdes. I have four children. All of them are adults already. I have one granddaughter. Oh, I am a grandfather now. Mm -hmm. uh, I have worked in different institutions. Ten years I work at ITCA. I have more than eight years working for Inglés Corporativo. During the pandemic, during the quarantine, I worked in a, in a, as a call center agent. I wanted to try, I tried. I, um, I didn't think I was going to work like that, but anyway, I tried. And I worked a few months from home. That's the thing. I worked from home for Atento, and we have an account called uh, Instacart. I like that account. It was nice. But they closed the account and they moved me to another account called uh, Grubhub. The account was good, but the people here, they were terrible. I didn't like them. So I quit. Uh, I'm not. I'm too old to stand people that don't treat you well Anna. <laughs> and I got another job as an interpreter online over the phone uh, it was good I liked it I liked the experience interpreting for banks insurance companies uh, services like electricity gas internet and what else? Credit cards, internet. Well, and it was nice because I was just the intermediate, intermediate or the mediator between the, the client, the customer, and the gringo. The Latino customer and the gringo. No, they solved the problem. I didn't have to solve the problem. It was their problem. That was nice. Then they moved me to work as a medical interpreter. That was a great experience. Interpreting for doctors, for nurses, for hospitals. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, when Latinos patient came to the doctor, so I was interpreting for them. Uh, the only thing at the end I didn't like is that you know, an interpreter doing the same job in the United States makes $40 per hour, and we were making $3 per hour now. Unbelievable. So the money, somebody else took the money. Yeah, the mediators, they were taking the money. And they gave us just $3. So I came back as a teacher because teaching is my my charco, teaching is what I love. I love teaching, so I prefer okay. being. But it was a nice experience, okay. for almost one year working as a call center agent, working as an interpreter, and now we're back. When classes started to open up again, so it was good. Here I am. 
So that's me, a little bit about me. As I told you, I live in Lourdes, Cologne. I'm married and I'm glad to be with you here. Now I'm going to take the attendant. And after that, I want you to introduce yourself talking a little bit. You can tell me your name, where you live, what you do, if you work or study, what you like, a little bit about you before starting the class. Okay, so, but at first I'm going to take the attendance. So please stay present when you hear your name. Okay, uh, Alejandra Elizabeth Duran. Present. Okay, welcome. Alejandra Maria Lemus. Present, teacher. Okay, welcome. Andrea Esmeralda Flores. Here, teacher. Okay, welcome. Uh, Angel Isaac Cibrian. Present coach. Okay. <laughs> don't call me coach. I feel like English for call centers. Man. I don't want to be here. <laughs> I prefer to be called teacher. <laughs> Blanca Estela Lara. Present teacher. Okay, welcome. Carlos Ernesto Rogel. Carlos Ernesto, I see you, but I don't hear you. Carlos Ernesto, are you there? Present teacher. Okay, now I hear you. Eh, Edgardo de Jesus Maldonado. Here, teacher. Okay, Present. welcome. Elba Esmeralda Figueroa. Present teacher. Okay, welcome. Juan Carlos Lopez. I hear teacher. Good Welcome. evening. Welcome. Good evening. Thank you. Catherine Joanna Calzadilla. Present. Good evening. Hello. Welcome. Kenya Roxana Ayala. Kenya Roxana. Not here. Luis Miguel Mejia. Present teacher. Okay, welcome. Maria Delmi Hernandez de Montoya. I'm here. Nice meeting. Nice meeting you. Maybe you are you are married with one of my brothers. Probably. <laughs> you know, I my father had more than 20 children. I don't know all my brothers. I don't know all my brothers, so probably. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, Marvin Alejandro Landa Verde. Present teacher. Okay, welcome. Noé de Jesús Ambrosio. Noé de Jesús Ambrosio. No. Sandra Lisette Elizondo. Here, teacher. Okay, welcome. Uh, Cindy Carolina Cruz. Here. Okay, welcome. Ursula Jamilet Cornejo. Present. Okay. Good evening. Hello. And Jensi Carolina Magaña. Present. Okay, welcome. Okay. So, Noé de Jesús and Kenya Roxana, not here. Oh, Kenya Roxana, I can't hear you. I see you. Buenas noches, teacher. Hello. Eh, mi nombre es Kenia. Mi nombre es Kenia Ayala. Ah, okay. 
Eh, no pondré la cámara, eh, teacher, porque eh, me voy a conectar solo con audio porque estoy en el hospital con mi hijo. Entonces, pero sí voy a estar escuchando. Ah, ok. okay. Por favor, gracias. No problem. Thank you. No de Jesús, Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, I'm all ears. I want to hear you. Tell me a little bit about you. Voluntarily. Who start? Whose hand is there? Me, mister. Okay, Marvin. Well, first one, hello. I feel very happy to be here again. Because, you know, every day is one opportunity that we have to learn something new in our life, for example. And my name is Marvin Alejandro Landaverde Arias. You can call me Alejandro Landaverde. And also, I studied for two years English at ITCA. And, and I live in San Sevilla Nueva with my parents. And in my free time, I like to go out with my friends. I like to share time with my family. Also, I love watching TV with my family and uh, I work and only that. Okay, Marvin, welcome. I have some relatives there in San Jose Villanueva. It's a nice town. Okay, who's next? Raise your hand, your virtual hand. Okay, Cindy. Hello, my name is Cindy. I'm 30 years old. I live in Joya de Seren, San Juan of Pico. Uh, I work online uh, teaching Spanish to foreign. I love teaching. And I, I, I want that. I want that. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's very interesting. <laughs> Just that. Okay. Hey, we're going to talk. I need that. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Cindy. Nice experience. Luis Miguel. Hi. Good evening. Uh, my name is Luis Miguel, but, but you can call me Miguel. Uh, I am... 21 year olds. I live in San Salvador, in San Jacinto. Uh, I am a diseñador gráfico. I work in my family business. My hobbies are playing soccer, uh, play video game, watch movie, play with, with my daughter. Uh, I don't like wake me up early, but I don't have more options. <laughs> okay. Welcome, Miguel. Next. Estela, go ahead. Good evening, teacher. My name is Blanca Estela Lara. Uh, I like uh, it pizza. I live in Tacancingo. Uh, I work at the Movistar Activator. Activadora Movistar. And my hobby is listen to music, and play videos, play movies, and dancing. And... Okay, very good. Thank you, Estela. Elba, go ahead. Uh, good evening, teacher and classmates. Um, I am Elba Esmeralda Figueroa. Um, you can call me Esmeralda. Um, I, li I live in Lourdes, Colón. Probably we are neighborhood and we don't know. <laughs> yes. Probably. <laughs> um, and I am full student and I am a student studying in business administration. And I like to dance and that's it. Okay, very good. I live in Campo Verdes one. Oh my god, yeah. My my sister live in Idea. 
Oh. I I live in the center of Lourdes. Ah, okay. Great. Yes. For the huh? for the mer supermarket no supermarket. Ah, okay. Uh, yes. Okay. Welcome. Thank you. Sandra, go ahead. Good evening, nice to meet you. My name is Andrea Lisa de Lisondo. I am 25 years old and I am I live in San Juan Opico. I am a commercial to a small mass market. Okay. Thank you. Welcome, Sandra. Okay, who's next? Okay, Maria Delmi. Good evening. My name is Maria Delmi Hernandez de Montoya. I'm, I live in Ilopango City. Mm, mm, I work, I am a mm, alternative therapy. Yeah, I love my work. And and I'm I'm a I'm a techno student, uh, but I think mm, I I I I teach I always saw something in life, uh, and I I like. Uh, too much to travel to travel my country, special and other places if if I can. Yeah. Uh, that's all. Thank you. Traveling is a nice experience, definitely. Thank you, Maria Delby. Okay, I saw uh, Juan Carlos Pérez. Hi, uh, my name is Juan Carlos Lopez Eduard. I live in uh, La Unión, La Unión. My profession is doctor in medicina. I work in the Hospital Nacional de La Unión. Okay. Oh, wow, excellent. Nice meeting you, Juan Carlos. Welcome. Thank you. Carlos Ernesto. Carlos Ernesto. Uh, my name is Carlos Ernesto Rogel. I live in Santa Ana. I am 35 years old. Um, I work and I am study. I work in a, in a factory and I study in the university. Um, the career um, Licenciatura en Mercadeo Internacional y en study English for, uh, for Insafor. Ok. Perfect. Welcome, Carlos. Thank you. Andrea. Hi. Uh, hi. Uh, good evening. Hi, everyone. My name is Andrea Esmeralda Flores. I live in San Juan Talpa, La Paz. I am a student at University of El Salvador. I study civil engineering and, and I like to draw and listen to music. And my, my favorite hobby is make, um, uh, no sé cómo se dice manualidades en inglés, pero eso es, sería mi hobby. Handcraft. Is, handcraft, okay. okay. I have... Two brothers and one sister is is all is all. Thank you. Okay, welcome, Andrea. Who's next? Don't make me call you. Do it voluntarily. Okay, Alejandra. 
Hi, teacher. My name is Alejandra. Like you see, I'm a legal assistant. I live in Mexicanos, in El Salvador. I have one brother, and I live with him and my mother. Okay, perfect. Welcome. Um. Okay. Next. Jency, thank you. Go ahead. Hi, good evening. My name is Jency Carolina. I live in San Sonata. I work in the financial. Uh, I live in my house with my mother and my husband and my three sons. Nice to meet you. Nice meeting you, Jency. Welcome. Okay, next. Hi, my name is Edgardo Maldonado. I am from the La Union Department. I work in mechanical workshop as a warehouse manager. I like to listen to music and learn new things every day. Hey, very good. Thank you, Edgardo, and welcome. We are 19, and now 1, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 13. There are six missing. I would like to present. OK. Good night, OK. Um, hello, good evening. My name is Ursula M. Cornejo. But you can call me Jimmy or Janet. It's OK. Actually, I'm 23 years old. I am a student. I study at university. Um, I study major English. In my free time, I really love watching TV. I prefer to watch series, um, experience or movie. And also, I help my I help my little sister with homework. And also, I help my my mom with her business. Uh, she has a lot of business with my uncle. So also, um, I try to learn English every single day. I try to uh, learn new faces or expand my vocabulary. And I'd like to uh, be here to with me a new this experience. Okay, Jamie. Thank welcome. you. Welcome. Okay. Very good. Okay. Next. Catherine, go ahead. Good evening, everyone. Nice to meet you. I am Catherine Joanna Calzadilla Alas. I ha I am twenty one years old. I'm sorry, I live in Huayua, Sonsonate. And um, one of my favorite hobbies is um, to listen music. And I don't know what else I can say. Okay, that's fine. Thank you, Catherine. Beautiful okay. city. Beautiful city, Huayua. Beautiful place to live in. Um, Alejandra, okay, Alejandra, I'm sorry for that. Anyone else? Who's missing? I don't know, maybe no one. Okay, well, let's get started then. I hope you. I've already downloaded the manual. So if not, you can do it later, okay? Let's start with our class. Our manual here. Let me share the screen. Now this is what I want to share. How Look at this topic. How often do you exercise? 
That is an offensive question for me. I don't like it. I'm sorry for that. But anyway. Uh, how often do you exercise? Think about that about yourself. <laughs> and we have here this information about the top five sports and fitness activities in the United States. Oh, this is not here in El Salvador. These are the top five sports and fitness activities in the United States. They say basketball, volleyball, softball. I am uh, surprised that I don't see baseball in this place. And I thought, I think baseball is very popular in the United States. But it's not here. Uh, it's basketball, volleyball, softball, football, so so and soccer. soccer. Soccer is our football. Because football, for gringos, football is what we call American football. Yeah, it's different. Basketball. Yeah. And only gringos call football soccer. Only they call football soccer. Well, and, and these are the top five fitness activities in the United States. Weight training, treadmill, stretching, walking, and jogging. Oh, interesting. Weight training, treadmill, stretching, walking, and jogging. Treadmill is that machine where you walk without going anywhere. So that is a treadmill, that machine for walking, you know, walk over the machine and you don't move, you don't go to anywhere. That is a treadmill. Okay. You have staying in the gym? Yeah, well, people, some people have a treadmill at home or you mm. can go to the gym. Yeah. That, that is a treadmill. But what about El Salvador? Which of these sports do people in El Salvador enjoy? What do you think? Which soccer. sport? Soccer. Soccer. Definitely soccer. soccer. Mm. Softball. Also. Basketball, a little bit. Basketball volleyball. and volleyball. volleyball. Yeah, mostly no. Football. Um, beach, football play, beach. Beach soccer. soccer. Would be beach <laughs> soccer. soccer. What is soccer? Hmm. Okay. It's soccer, yes. And the other question is, which sports or fitness activities do you enjoy? Ah. Do you? Ah, walking? Walking. walking. Okay. Weight what? training. Weight training? Oh. I prefer jogging. Jogging? Okay. Jogging? Um, I am not sick. <laughs> yeah. I already did. <laughs> You're like me. You're like me. <laughs> what other sports do people or sports or fitness activities what other sports or fitness activities do people practice here in El Salvador aerobics aerobics running skateboard volleyball jogging okay but running what, what, what do you ah. Okay, I want to write. So you say aerobic, 
jogging. Volleyball. Yeah, but my question is what, what other? Ah. Oh. Swimming. Running. Running. Bicycling. Yeah. Bicycling. Cycling. Biker. Swimming. Skateboard. Uh, surfing. Mm -hmm. Only in South City. Lifting. Skateboard. Skateboard. I don't know. Wait. Sir. I, I don't get what you mean with stable. Skateboard. Skate. 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 Ah, skateboard. Okay, skateboard. okay I'm sorry. Skateboard. Okay. Skateboard. Box. Boxing. Boxing? I don't know. Surf. Surf. Karate. Karate. Okay. Okay. Yeah. A lot of activities okay, that people practice here in El Salvador, but they are different. Good. Well, look at this chart. Look at this other chart. We have this um, vocabulary about different activities. Aerobics, baseball, bicycling, inline skating, soccer, swimming, tennis, weight training, and yoga. The question is, which groups we have different age groups children teens young adults middle age and older people the question is which ages age groups enjoy or practice these activities for example aerobics do you aerobics. think children practice aerobics? No. 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 Teen. Teen? Middle age. Middle age. Middle age. Okay. Uh, wait, take it easy. What about teens? Do teens practice aerobics? Teen. No. Yes. no. No. No? Young adults? No. Possible. Young adults. Possible. Possible. Probably. Probably. Eh, but some. Middle-aged? Yes. 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 Older people? Yes. 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 Oh. Okay. Okay. I want you to complete this chart to check with your opinion, maybe, because this is about opinion, okay? So we may have different opinions. We may have different opinions, okay? It doesn't matter. So... Please complete the chart with checking according to your personal opinion, which age groups practice these activities. Uh, I will share this chart in WhatsApp for you. And uh, if you don't have it, so uh, please mark according to your opinion okay. and then we are going to discuss in small groups okay you are going to discuss in small groups so let me share the chart with you here in whatsapp uh, if you have it okay if you have it in your manual or or if not there you are Complete the chart according to your opinion, and then I will send you to discuss a little bit in small groups.
Okay, I will send you to working groups to discuss your opinion. Remember, there are not correct answers, so this is about opinion. Um, join, you have the link to join the WhatsApp group. So you have to join using the link. That is the best way. I don't have the way to join you. Okay. Okay, go to the breakout rooms, please, and practice discussing, practice your English, not your Spanish. Practice discussing your opinions about the activities according to the group, to the ages groups. See you in five minutes. Join the small groups, please. People is waiting. People are waiting for you. Rea and Alejandra, Sandra Lisset is waiting for you. Kenya, your group is waiting for you.
Piche, yo luego repito el video y le envío mi trabajo de, de la clase. Okay, welcome back. Okay, so because this is a matter of opinions, no problem. Now, what about this? Uh, which of the activities above, I mean, these activities, are used with do, go, or play. Okay. Mm. Let's see. We have do aerobics. We have play baseball. We have go mm. bicycling here. What about inline skating? Is do, go, or play? 
Inline skating. Go. 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 Inline skating. Ah, okay. Go. Inline skating. Soccer. What about soccer? Play. Play. So Play. Play. So Play soccer. Swimming. Play. Go swimming. Go swimming. Go swimming. Go swimming. Yeah. Yeah. Go swimming. Play. 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 Do, Go, do, 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 do weight training. Weight training. Yeah. And finally, do yoga. Do yoga. 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 Okay, that's right. Do aerobic. Do weight training. Do yoga. Go bicycling, go in line skating, go swimming, play baseball, play soccer, play tennis. tennis. Very good. Now, let me read this conversation. Look at this conversation. I hardly ever Look at this picture what what do you see in the picture what are they doing mm. he's watching, watching tv, TV. He's, ah. he's watching tv he's playing he's playing okay very good very good now listen to the conversation. I'm going to read the conversation first, okay? This conversation. You're really fit, Paul. Do you exercise a lot? Well, I almost always get up early and I lift weights for an hour. Seriously? Sure. And then I often go in line skating. Wow. How often do you exercise like that? About five times a week. What about you? Oh, I hardly ever... I hardly ever exercise. I usually just watch TV in my free time. I guess I'm a real couch potato. Okay. <laughs> Let me, uh, I'd like to record the audio in WhatsApp. So in order you practice later, okay? Or you may listen to the conversation, practice, you're listening, practice the pronunciation later. Mm -hmm. uh, give me a for the conversation out here. Well, actually, already has it. Okay, there you have the conversation in WhatsApp, so you can mm -hmm. listen to it later. Now, um, you read a big ball, so you exercise a <laughs> Okay. Well, okay, okay, turn off your microphone for a while, please. Now, let me read it one more time. Repeat after me, please. You really fit, Paul. Do you exercise a lot? 
you're sick or do you exercise a lot? Do you exercise a lot? Well, I almost always get up early and I lift weights for an hour. Well, well I almost always get up early and I lift weights for an hour. Seriously? Seriously? Sure. And then sure. I often go in line skating. Wow, how often do you exercise like that? Wow, how often do you exercise like that? About five times a week. What about you? About five times a week. Oh, I hardly ever exercise. I usually just watch TV in my free time. I guess I'm a real couch potato. Uh -uh. Oh, I hardly ever exercise. I guess I'm a real couch potato. I guess I'm a real couch potato. Potato. Okay. <clears throat> Are you more like Marie or more like Paul? I, I am back. more like <laughs> oh, Paul, of course. Paul. Paul. Oh, oh, I'm not. I am more like Marie. <laughs> yeah. No, I am more like Marie too. <laughs> Me too. Okay. And I'm, a, and I'm more full. Oh, good for you. Good for you. Okay, people. Um, we are going to stop here. We don't have time to practice conversation experience. We are going to do it tomorrow. You have the audio there yeah. so you can practice and listen and practice. Okay. Tomorrow we are going to practice a little bit. Okay, people, have a good night, and see you tomorrow to continue. Thank you. Thank you, good night. Thank you, good night. Tomorrow. Good night, everybody. Good night. Bye. Take care. Thank you. Thank you. See you tomorrow. Have a nice day.